Hello, friends. Today we're back with another try on haul. I like this. I mean, really, I just like the trying on the clothes and getting new clothes. But you know, if you guys want to come along for that journey, that's fine by me. You know. And funny enough, I haven't actually finished the last try on haul that I did yet. My misguided try on haul. I'm in the middle of filming it. I'm waiting today. The new sizes are supposed to arrive for that. So by the time you're watching this, that video will already be up. Um, so go check that out if you like try on hauls and you like me. So yay. Also, ooh, you gotta see, I just got this new sweatshirt today and you gotta see it. It's so cute. I think my package just arrived. <gasps> I just got my other package. Either that or it's a bomb. I don't know why it's in this thingy, but no. That's weird. There's a bunch of clothes in here. Eh. So today we're doing a try on haul from Pretty Little Thing. I also want to mention that I didn't really plan on ordering from Pretty Little Thing, except I saw an ad on Facebook for Pretty Little Thing, and it was advertising the most beautiful outfit I've ever seen in my whole entire life. That's definitely a dramatization. I've seen some really pretty outfits, but I digress. So I had to have it. It was so pretty. You know, one of those moments, like usually I'm just like really bored by clothes lately, but sometimes you'll find something and it's just like, <gasps> beautiful. I have to have that. So that's what happened. And then I also got a bunch of other things. So maybe I ordered pants. I desperately need pants. If you haven't watched the misguided try on haul, I desperately need pants. And I keep ordering gowns. So, whoops. Okay. I'm sweating. Let's get to trying it on. Okay, so this is already a bit of a disappointment. So I bought this dress because as you can see, I really wanted to have naked ladies on me. And I'm not gonna explain that statement. But I feel more naked in this dress than the ladies on my body. Um, there's also naked children. That feels weird. But yeah, I just, I like this. They have a few different patterns on their different outfits and stuff on the site that are renaissance. And so they're like really cool. There's a lot of like naked people and also just really pretty dreamy prints. And I really like that. So, but it's also super short. It's got a little tie here, a little ruching. It's cute. It's just like maybe if I had smaller boobs and I wasn't so pale and I looked completely different from how I actually look, this would be okay. But I don't know, I'm just... Not really feeling it. You know what I mean? And um, these straps are like really long, so they keep wanting to fall off. If I didn't have this much boobs like pulling this forward, I feel like there wouldn't be any tension on these and they would just be completely off all the time. And even now with my huge boobs, they're still falling off. So I don't know. Next one. Hello friends. So it's editing me from the future. So this next part that I had recorded was just going to be me going on about how I thought that my bag, because it had clearly ripped open and been repackaged by the shipping company, that I must have lost some pieces because instead of having the top and the bottoms for these matching sets, I only had the bottoms. So I assumed that some stuff must have fallen out, but then later I reviewed my receipt and it turns out that for some reason it just wasn't on the order. Like, I know I added it to my cart, and I thought that I bought it and, like, paid for it, but apparently I didn't do that. So, yeah, somehow I just didn't end up buying the matching top and bottom. I just got the bottoms for the things that I ordered, so I don't know how that happened. Anyways, carry on. Here's me being sad that I didn't get the matching set. And, like, I made sure to get the top and the bottom of the matching set, and it was gonna be such a look. And then it didn't come. So... I'm really sad. But anyways, so for this next look, we're just gonna look at the skirt. It was supposed to have a matching top, but it didn't come. So we're just gonna pay attention to the skirt and not the top. I just threw on a little bandeau top with it. So don't pay attention to the top half, okay? So I like this skirt, but also it's ugly. <laughs> so the colors together just don't look right. And again, it's got more naked ladies on there somewhere. Um, is that a naked lady? I can't see. Oh yeah, I think that's a naked lady. I think the cut of this is super cute. Love that, love the little slit, love the way it's ruched up here. I think it's really pretty. But yeah, the colors are just ugly. So I'm not like super sad that this didn't, the top and stuff didn't come. But yeah, it's really cute. It fits super well. It's, again, it's like US 12. Yeah, it's cute. But again, the colors just don't look right together. Um, so yeah, they kind of didn't look great on the website, but I just honestly, I just really wanted it because it had pretty naked ladies on it. So, you know, anyways. 
on to the next. Okay, so this next one is the one that I bought this whole try on thing for was because I saw this outfit, but again, the top didn't come and I'm so sad because it was such a beautiful outfit and just, uh, okay, but let me show you the skirt again. Ignore the top part, just the bandeau top I threw on with it. We're just looking at the skirt, okay? Cuter than the last one, honestly, and like don't like pay attention to this. This is just a thing they like put through it so that you so you can't wear it like without purchasing it, basically. Yeah, this is better than the last one. I'm actually like not as impressed as I thought it would be. I thought this was gonna be mind blowing. It's gonna be amazing, but I love this like draping kind of detail. Again, I love the slit. The slit is on the opposite side, I think, from the other dress, and uh, it also has a zipper, so you're not just like pulling it on. It's not like super stretchy or anything, but it fits really well. It fits at like the tiniest part of my waist. It's really hard to imagine what it would look like with the top. The top was so pretty. I do feel like a Grecian goddess, which is of course the point, but like not as amazing as I thought it would feel. Like it's not, it's not as cute as I thought. The pattern, the colors in it are really pretty. It just feels kind of like it was, I don't know, cheaply printed on there. It's not as like vivid and like detailed as I thought it was going to be. It's not as purple as I thought it was going to be or like bluey pink, you know? It's just, it's not as vivid. It feels kind of like, I don't know, I mean it still looks good. It's like, it's pretty. It makes me feel very like God is a woman, Ariana Grande, you know? Anyways, I think we've said enough about this. I wish the top was here, but it's not. I'm so sad. Okay, so honestly, like, I feel like a little boy. This is something that my brother would wear when he was, like, nine. <laughs> what was I, th I mean, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking, oh, it's oversized. We love oversized, and, like, the model looks great in it. Orange is a bit of a risky color, but, you know, take a chance. And, like, I don't know you guys, this is not it. <laughs> and I mean like if it were in maybe army green or something, I would be all about it. I would be determined to find a way to make this wearable even though I have like no shape in it. But you know, this orange is crazy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the collar is too high. Is that part of the problem? Just, you know, like people with big boobs, we generally, at least I do, I don't know if everybody does this, but try to like avoid having a high neckline, like really high, because it, it just draws the eye to like how much space there is to like here. It makes your boobs look like they're really long and extra large. <laughs> That's why like turtlenecks are really sexy. Like why do people hate turtlenecks so much? They really emphasize your boobs. I don't understand. It's not a modest way to dress. I don't understand why people think that it is, but I'll take it. I would love to wear a turtleneck showing off my boobs in public and everybody thinks, oh, she's so modest. And I'm like, yeah, girl, look at these titties. Anyways, um, I don't know. This looks insane. Even if this was like your significant other's shirt that you threw on, like after sex kind of look, you still wouldn't be sexy wearing this. It just looks ridiculous. This is super nicely made though and like really good quality just by the way like it's super comfortable the printing looks good colors look good they're vibrant it looks nice it's just ugly <laughs> so what even is this i'm so disappointed i thought this was gonna be so cute but like this looks like a night shirt like this looks like something you sleep in i don't who could possibly wear this out? I mean, just the print is like, it's a little faded looking. It looks better, I think, on camera than it does in real life. Like, it's way too, like, thick. It feels pajama-y. It looks pajama-y. I just, I don't like it. It looks so good on the model. I'm so confused. Like, I don't get it. Next. Okay, I don't know. These shorts are okay. They're not great. They're kind of like, I feel like I'm wearing, like, Way back in like medieval times, I'm wearing like the underwear they used to wear. That's what I feel like. Like it's got frills on the bottom. It's just, I don't know. And you have to wear it high waist. Sometimes stuff like this is stretchy and like shorts. Sometimes when you're just eating or something, under like a long shirt, not a crop top obviously, I like to like pull it down so that I can let my like stomach digest a little bit and then I'll pull it back up later. This, if you pull it down, you just look like ridiculous. Like you cannot do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like a thin, kind of scratchy material, but it's not scratchy on the inside. It feels like it's got like a, oh yeah, it's got like a lining on the inside, so it's not scratchy. 
um it's stretchy at the ba the band so it's like it's comfortable and everything i just i don't know about this you guys let me show you the next item this has been really depressing you guys this is such a sad try on all let me show you okay these are a pair of bi black biker shorts i got um they're nice they're truly like biker short fit so they're like or length i should say they like go almost to my knees which is nice i feel like that's like a flattering length you don't want to be like too much shorter than that or else like it kind of looks weird at least on me i don't know the problem with this is that they are hella see-through apparently i came and like asked my mom if she could see my butt and she looked one second and was like yes absolutely i can completely see your butt i can see your underwear all the way i can see your skin it's so thin but like they're super comfortable they're even kind of flattering too they are like very thin i was worried they were going to be kind of a shiny material they're not but um again they're so thin they look nice i mean if i'm wearing like this and like i'm cup you know does it really matter i mean what i really wanted out of getting these biker shorts is because like i have super thick thighs well not super thick thighs but i have thick thighs you guys and that rhymed <laughs> I have no thigh gap whatsoever. My thighs always touching, unless I'm standing like this. But like, I can't walk around like that. So my thighs are always touching. It's July in North Carolina, so it's crazy hot. And sometimes you wanna wear skirts or dresses, but like my thighs can't be just left alone to like rub against each other and all that friction, all that sweat. So I like having something that's like a longer short to go underneath so that I can separate them. See, so yeah, maybe I'll keep these for that reason. Um, I don't know. Let's try the gray ones. They're cute or whatever, but like also way more see-through than the last. Sometimes they're like weirdly a little bit more snug, but yeah. The fabric feels great, great fits, great length, but it's just hella see-through, you guys, and I'm so sad about it. These are nice, they're cute, they're flattering, they're comfortable. I don't need them nearly as much as I needed biker shorts, but they're cute. Oh, and this is what they look like on the back. Mike can see my underwear right now, I don't know very thin i don't really like this part of my legs being exposed anymore like i used to but now i just want it to be covered so that i know that my thighs are taken care of you know what i'm saying i kind of don't like them like if i'm gonna have shorts like this i mean i always just i have a pair of shorts that are too small for me now and they're from airy they are what i call the bootiest of all booty shorts and like i love them i love them so much i still probably have them because i just can't bring myself to get rid of them even though they're a little too tight if they don't hold up to those i feel like it's not good if they're gonna be this short i want them to be like a bit thicker i want them to be more hugging me instead of just like they're so thin i feel and stretchy i feel like they're just there you know like this is just an extra layer it's not doing anything it's just there i kind of want it to like really hold me i want it to feel like yes i have this extra layer on and i'm good to go i can kick your butt i can fight in battle like that's what i want you know but like this like it's good also i should mention that this um pair of shorts came in a two pack so there's also a gray one so let me try those on okay so this is bizarre the gray ones again just like the biker shorts the gray are noticeably much more snug like i was a little worried trying to get them on because they were pretty tight yeah i don't know what's up with that and they're definitely see-through i can already tell and yeah what the heck is up with this it's tight but it's not like the kind of like gripping me the way that i was describing before like it's not doing that like kind of holding me in it's making me feel like they're too small almost like it's really gripping gripping me like right here at the edge what the heck is up with this? Okay, so I finished my try-on haul from Pretty Little Thing. I'm so sad and disappointed. Kinda sucks that I didn't get to try on the two-piece sets with the other piece. Y'all let me know, like, what are some other great online stores that I could try and shop from and maybe have more success? Let me know down in the comments or message me. Like, seriously, I'm so dead serious about this. I'm so tired of trying a bunch of stuff on and nothing fitting me, so please let me know. That would be excellent. And I would super appreciate that. I look really pretty. Anyways, this is a men's sweatshirt. Can you believe that? It's so cute and it's so comfortable. 
Anyways, um, this is a really disappointing haul. I'm not sure what I'm gonna keep. I'm tempted to keep the bike shorts, even though they're see-through, just because I'm not sure where should I get bike shorts from. But anyways, this was fun. Um, I'm glad that I made these videos. I feel like this makes it a lot more fun to do these try-on hauls instead of just hauling and then trying them on without the camera present, because I feel like it just makes me feel better when stuff just doesn't work out. Like, I have an audience to be sympathetic, you know? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't checked out the misguided try on haul, please go check that out. If you like this video, make sure you, that you like it, that you comment, subscribe, please. If you like these videos, if you liked me, um, please, 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 please subscribe to this channel. I need to get my subscriber count up. My new goal is to get 100 subscribers. Let's see if we can do it this year. I don't know, but we'll find out. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Going? Are you leaving me, Roxy? <sighs> so this is for the creepy man in my comments of my last try and haul. He said he wanted to see more legs, so like, this is what my leg looks like. Hope you're like super cool about body hair. Fur is in, baby. My dad said, where are you getting your dresses from? Men's warehouse? <laughs> you know, I don't like the word crisp. Crisp? Crisp is nice. I don't like it. It sounds gross. Crisp is crisp. And I like the, the crisp autumn air. Ew, stop talking.